today I'm just working on revisiting some scenes in the book. I'm gonna work on a new intro. Um, it's tough because the way I went about uh, creating this book is like slightly untraditionally, so I'm making a lot of revisions or reshoots. And um, right now I'm working on a new beginning to the story because it just the story of the book kind of starts off and drops you right into Avador. And I'd rather I want to bring you into the world and with the help of my buddy Eric, um, he's been helping me with like creating a good narrative like outside of like the basic story how did we get there what does it look like what you know are the people on the planet there's a bunch of we're just diving deep and uh right now i'm just literally just rough drafting some ideas he's helped me with and then eventually i'm going to get on the long come and uh do it digitally and then kind of just rework every page takes so much work like it takes six hours for me like i know there's artists that do it a lot faster than me but it just takes me so long to like get it pro you know get it to where it's it's final i know coloring takes me to color a full page depending on who's in it and what how much detail it is in in it the cockpit scenes usually the cockpit scenes take me forever because there's buttons and there's little gadgets and it's it's crazy Appreciate you guys thank you so much for uh your support thanks for jumping right back in with me I'm gonna keep on keeping on i'm watching ghost in the show i watched the original anime Phenomenal, but I'm watching the one with Scarlett Johansson. It's pretty good. It's pretty dope. The car in there is baller. I have a tendency to, with this camera, to cover up the mic because it's right on top and right when you grab it. So hopefully you heard that. But anyway, so um, that's the scene. And um, now we're doing it digitally. Same concept, just a little lot better. Um, I find digitals can be, doing it digital can be sometimes easier. Um, so that's your first shot for the protector. I'm looking over his lady. And if you see in the, there we go. So you can see the lady. And then she has like a baby in her pouch as well. So she is hanging her her uh, laundry, doing a laundry. And then the next scene is the creature flying through. So not done, just these are just roughs. I'm um, still, I'm just working in some, all the background textures, making sure it looks good. And then uh, we'll keep plugging along. So I wanted to show you a little bit of the process because uh, that's fun. I thoroughly enjoy this. Even when I like find myself like kind of getting frustrated, I just take a break. Like sometimes I can draw and draw, and I'm like, this is just not working out. So I'm just uh, like last night. That's why it's taken two days. It never takes two days. It just sometimes your brain just shuts down. And you're like, I can't think of anything. So luckily I have my buddy Eric helping me out with this. He's helping me out a lot, and we kind of go back and forth with ideas and. Uh, just on like page layout and show it because it's really hard to show movement in uh in illustration so but today we're gonna do something fun we're gonna take out the 240 put the back seats in and um i kind of want to take out take off my recaro seat covers so like cars not recaro sparko one i want to take the sparko seat cover off and then cut it apart and make a template and then make my own seat cover Worst comes worse. If I don't, if I'm unable to successfully make the seat cover, I want to buy a new ones anyway. So I think that's a good project, and I'll make a template. And uh, I think that's what I'm gonna do. So that's gonna be today's video. I'm pretty pumped. I'm just hustling. Just gonna get bang out some more work, and then uh, later tonight we'll do that right around. Uh, blah 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 blah. blah. Gonna get the seats in. All right, so we're, real quick, we're just gonna buckle in the rear seats for the. And then we're gonna take you for a drive. We're not, you know, we're not, not today. Why? Because I can't, I can't. Um, that's. I still need to put my back seats in. I'm gonna redo the front seat. I'm gonna restitch this. So eventually we'll do it. Okay, 
You think the back seats will fit in with the harness bar or you think I should take out the harness bar? Take out the harness bar. I think you're actually right. Take out the harness bar. Can I get on the other side? Yeah, I'm gonna loosen it for you. I forget if you put back seats at the top or bottom first. I honestly forget. I haven't done this in so long. Go a bit higher. Oh! Gotta clean that side next. Wait, uh, I need to vacuum out my back seats, but it's really hard to get back there in my garage, so it doesn't look like it's hot. It's not really raining, but. So I'm gonna try to see if I can get this thing out for a second. Vacuum the back seats, get it all secured, back it on up. Then we'll get the seat covers off, and that'll call success. There you go, that's what I'm talking about. They smell good. They hide. Still don't know what I'm gonna do about Zahana's bar, but we'll figure it out later. I don't really, not too concerned about it. Um, but yeah, real, relatively clean. I am pretty pumped. I'm gonna next work on the front seat, disassembling that. I'm gonna put the car back in. Like when it like rums. Rums. And when, like when he goes back, so like, I'm like, this. Like, mm -hmm. All right, so I'm gonna try to take off all the clamps and then take off this cover and reupholster everything. Once you get one, you break them all. There we go. And you know what? At school, it's at school, and you know what? I didn't even cry once. For real? For real? Gross. Do you, remember, do you remember me telling you that I have powers? This is the grossest thing I've ever done. All right, we got the cover off. <laughs> right, this is gonna take a while. It's not gonna be overnight, but uh, I'm gonna try, what I'm gonna do is like unupholster the seat cover and to cut every seam off and just label it and I should be able to replicate it. I've done it with hoodies. Um, that's how I get the template for our hoodies. Should be possible, should be. But the only thing is I don't have that much fabric so the first test will be made out of like literally every fabric I have so it's gonna be all over the place. Oh, it's double layered. Hmm, it's not, it's not impossible. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna do like a little stitching on top if I finish, you know, if I actually find success in this. I feel like everything in the world can be done. Like, you just gotta find the right steps. <laughs> the right tools. <laughs> I have, definitely have tools to do it. I just don't know about the steps. With this, I'm gonna put this inside. And then I'm going to continue through the day. Oh, my phone's in there. Back seats are in. We're good. Yeah, but I do appreciate you guys. Everyone that jumped right on board and started hanging with us and uh, showing us love on the, the interwebs. It does mean a lot to me that uh, I can still make videos and have fun and enjoy my time. It's been like four years now. Yeah. Not just kidding. I think it's been four or five since the car and I think three or four since the vlogs first started. So just keep on keeping on, baby. Come on, Nick. I'm thinking about just making this two videos. So like, once the upholstery is done or whatever, refurbishing the seats, I'll make a video. Put put that on the progress, and then because I don't know when I'm gonna finish that. I don't know how long. I don't have any time. Try this is gonna take. So I'd rather just make one good video of me actually successfully doing it. Or if you never see that video, that means I never successfully did it. So with that said, I'm gonna go to Wendy's. I also do want to. Um, Work on that page I was showing you earlier because I designed the the rabbit 
dude. With that, man, just, I just don't know what to do. Oh, my scooter. My, um, my scooter comes in tomorrow. As soon as I get onto it. Like, never done one before, but I'm feeling it on this. I'm trying to go on a daily walk, but this rain trying to hold us back. I want to film in our house, Dad. Really, you know, this sliding is just. Oh, it's about to rain hard. Mm. Don't stop. Love you guys. Holla at your boy. Here's to another video. I'm going to eventually take part of those seats. I have some work I have to do. Um, so yeah, so I'm like doing uh, some work for Rasang again. Just so, some, ever since I left Rasang, I just consult for them. So I find this so much better, so much more relaxing. Um, get to work at your own pace. Kind of uh, just do, you know, being a consultant is a lot better than full-time employee, I find. <laughs> um, with that, I'm just gonna, I was just banging out some of their work, trying to balance. Then I do a couple of gigs for churches and then monster. So uh, appreciate it guys, thanks for tuning in. I don't know what I'm gonna do next time. Oh, my scooter comes in tomorrow. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna shred on my scooter. I'm pumped for that. I don't know about you guys, but I'm freaking excited, bro. Freaking excited, bro. Excited. And, uh, well, I created a new character today. It came out pretty cool. I find it easier to sculpt in 3D. Manipulate him, like, and mod, like, uh, rig him. Like as for animation, because then I can quickly make a toy. I can quickly make animation. I made an animation for Avador. It's pretty dope, but I'm waiting to put it out because it's yeah. I've spent so much time on it, and I'm waiting for it to like be the time of uh, be in the time of when I put the book out. So, um, but yeah. So I, I make I make a lot of the characters um, in a virtual reality, and then that and then I manipulate them because I can. I can rig them up and make their arms move and whatnot, so it makes my life a thousand times easier. I mean, it's not technically easier, it's probably more time consuming in the long run, but I made this weird bunny character. It's, it's, it's hard to see now, but it's going to be that bunny that runs by in the, what I was showing you earlier, but it's basically like a deformed rabbit thing. That's like a rabbit, but that's what it's supposed to be. Still working on it. I still have to finish finish her up, but uh, for the most part, we're heading in that direction. And so I'll like get the shape from them, and then I'll draw in the details, so and the texture and all that good stuff. So with that, guys, I love you so much. Next time, I feel like I'm back in the groove. The groove for you when you see my light. Yes. All right. That's enough. All right. I love you guys. Holla, chaboys. Ow.